guys welcome back to my channel as i told you from the last vlog we're actually migrating so come along on this journey so we left dominica on a morning flight it was definitely a bittersweet moment because we're living there and all our family all our friends and basically our whole life and dominica is such a nice place full of nature, full of lovely people, full of nice food, so it was definitely a business with no mind to leave. Being up in the clouds like this definitely reminded me of my mom and I just know that she's with me every step of this new journey. So we finally landed in Barbados. Actually, I had to go through all of the COVID protocols and so on. Then we had to wait for our apartment to get ready. Then we finally got in there and I was just so tired. I actually didn't remember to take pictures. So I just got this little video of the place. It was really nice. Then we had to get up at 4 a.m. To take our flights which was at 8 so we got up early to go to the Grantley Adams International Airport in Barbados and given all of the COVID stuff we didn't know if it had any extra protocols that we had to go for so we wanted to be early to our flights so we got to the airport at 6 o'clock our flight was actually at 8 45 But when we got there, the system was actually down, so we just ended up taking some photos and relaxing until we were able to actually board our flights. Gotta protect yourself from that COVID mask plus face shields. <laughs> and we got to this kind of weather. It was definitely a shock to go from such nice sunny weather to this. Finally landed at our destination, Canada. It was definitely surreal to finally get here. It was such a long process, given everything that we had to do, and also given COVID. So it was definitely surreal. We definitely couldn't believe we finally got here, but we did here. We landed in Toronto. I had to do this quick outfit change. Shout out to Connect Seven Six Seven for the warm hoodie, because the weather is freezing. So after landing, I got some food. Long I haven't had Subway Boy. <laughs> and then it was on to take another flight to our destination because we landed in Toronto, but Toronto definitely was not our final destination. So I actually take another flight, another four-hour flight actually to Edmonton, Alberta. So basically, we started our travels getting about 4 a.m. in the morning. And when we finally got to Edmonton, it would have been... 1 30 a.m our time that edmonton is three hours behind so we actually landed at like 9 9 30 their time and then we went to our airbnb we have to go for a mandatory 14 day quarantine so guys in our airbnb we are fully stocked up two people for groceries first that is one set then there's another set in these bags. So I think we are good. And here's a little tour of our Airbnb. Right. Um, you enter in from a top door up there. You're walking on the steps. And then have a place to put your coat and your shoes. And from inside, there is the kitchen. Right there. Bridge. Then you have a TV. Then you have the sofa. Like a table there, and then in the corner there, you have the washer and the dryer, and the bathroom. Ooh, loaded with towels and cleanliness. It's so clean. <laughs> Guess this is one of the rooms. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, 
I'm gonna have fun quarantine in here. For sure. <laughs> And we actually got a basket from the Dominica Association Edmonton, which is really nice. First breakfast in our new spot. Welcome to Canada, but pick it a Dominican breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here we are taking a little bit of fresh air outside. You're not permitted to go out and socialize, but you can actually like go outside by your door and take a bit of fresh air, which is what we did. We have to quarantine for 14 days and trust me, it's been a long, long, long process because you're stuck inside. Basically, during this 14 day quarantine, we played games, watch TV. By the time that I'm editing this video, we're actually one more day away from the 14 day quarantine. So I'm just so happy to finally be out of that. <laughs> and here Stop is it. my fiance Jan being an absolute Jan. loser. Because <laughs> you lose you on the chair. Don't crush up my thing, you know. So these are the scores for our scrabble game. As you can see, he started off strong. I started off slow. But I built my momentum and got 301 points and he have 468. All the while he telling me I cheated, I cheated. And what cheat? I come in my words people. My boy take the paper. You see how the paper run flop and ready to crush it because he's a sore loser. <laughs> Off topic, but does anyone else have a partner who just eats, eats, eats and doesn't gain not one pound? Whereas if you eat, you like gain a pound before the food even reach your mouth. <laughs> Tell me about it in the comments below. But overall, our travels were long, but we are just glad that we got here safely. And just pray that we continue to be safe, especially given this COVID thing. It was kind of sad leaving our family and our friends. And also for me, I had to leave so many things behind because of the weight restrictions on flights and the fact that there is nowhere in Dominica where you can actually mail a box or barrel from Dominica to Canada. There's no means to do that. So I actually had to leave down all of my makeup, all of my clothes, give away every single thing and actually come to Canada with like one suitcase. So, But we're here and we can always just start to rebuild and that's what we're going to do. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be documenting this new migration journey if you guys are interested in that. I'm also still going to be doing my makeup as soon as I can get out and actually go and repurchase everything. So if you want to come along with this journey with me subscribe to my channel like this video share with your friends and yeah have a good one